And a very good afternoon. Thank you so much for taking the time. We are talking adult metrics, by the way. I'm Kira Cummings. I am the head of culture at UCT Online High School. Not only will we be talking about the school, we'll be talking about all things online. But you know who I am? Well, let me introduce you to one of the coolest heads around. His name is Mr. Sipon Pasane, and he is head of school for our adult metric program at UCT Online High School. Sipon, always a pleasure seeing you, sir. Great to see you again, Kino. So we've got a jam-packed agenda today. I did mention, of course, that we'll be introducing you to UCT Online High School, and that focus, of course, will be on the adult metric program. But I think we have to ask this question, right? What makes our adult metric program unique? And how do we actually support our adult learners to achieve their what's called an amended senior certificate? So we'll bring all of that to play. And just remember, you can put in your questions posted in our little section over there. Um, but give us your number, give us your details so that we can get back to you. At the end of this, we'll try our best to get to as many questions as we can. But let's talk about the UCT Online High School ecosystem. So lots of exciting things happening, Sipo, at UCT Online High School. Uh, let's talk about it for 2023. Uh, thanks, Kino. Yeah, you are absolutely correct. We have some exciting new offerings launching for 2023. Um, if you recall, we opened our virtual doors this year in January um, when we launched UCT Online High School with a South African National Senior Certificate. And we welcomed during that time just 5,000 high school learners across grade 8 to 11 into our online school. Um, and we also launched our free curriculum, very exciting, which provided free access to our online CAPS Align curriculum to all our learners, guardians, and educators across the country. Um, and we're proud to include additional offerings into the UCT Online High School ecosystem. Available from 2023, 20, January, UCT Online High School has been approved uh, to offer the renowned Cambridge International IGCSE qualification, right, for year 10 high school learners. And, you know, in 2025, we'll be rolling out the international AS and A-levels qualifications. Um, as such, becoming one of the only official Cambridge International Online Schools in Africa. The second and exciting new addition is our adult metric program for adult learners um, who would like to obtain, obtain their South African metric qualification, their amended senior certificate. This aligns with our vision, of course, and our mission to expand access to high quality, affordable education for all, young and old. It certainly excites me. I love it. The amended track, we'll talk about that in more detail. Um, it certainly seems like UCT Online High School making all the right type of headlines, right? But let's unpack the amended senior certificate, the ASC, for adult learners, CEPO. I think it's important. You know, what, what exactly is it about? Yeah, so, you know, the amended senior certificate, also sometimes referred to as a senior certificate, is really an opportunity for adult learners who, for whatever reason, did not complete or achieve their grade 12 uh, or matric during their high school years. So, you know, I'm just thinking about my mate Sipo Hotsticks, my boots, second chance. I mean, he's done amazing stuff with his, with his life, but he's also gone back to get his matric. So it's kind of second chance stuff, isn't it? It is. And you you can't you can't put an age limit, you know, to a second chance. It's never, it's never too late to to achieve uh, to achieve your dreams or, or be successful in 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 anything you set out to uh, to be successful in. And the thing was with with, with um, schools and education in general, it just gets so jargony sometimes. So we hear a lot about the national senior certificate and the amended senior certificate. Can you tell us what exactly the differences are? Um, yeah, good question. You know, so an amended senior certificate, also known as the ASC is equivalent to a national senior certificate known as the NSC, uh, but is available to adult learners only. So the ASC qualification looks exactly the same as the NSC. The only difference between the NSC and the ASC is that the NSC is for a learner who is in metric. right? So it has to be completed through school assessments and examinations, but the ASC, is for a learner who would be uh, required just to write that final um, metric exam. 
So since an elder learner will not be doing a, a school-based assessment or school-based assessments uh, that we call SBAs for the amended senior certificate, the examination that you write will count for 100% of that final mark um, for that subject. So another key difference you know, here is that the examination dates are different, right? So the, the, the NSC is for high school learners is written during the matric examination month of October and November, while the ASC uh, for adult learners is written during the month of May and June only. So let me put on my school cap and ask you this question. Where does CAPS fit into all of this? Yeah, good. So we get this a lot, but but CAPS stands for, and I'm sure you know this by now, Kino, the Curriculum Assessment Policy Statement and refers to the South African national curriculum that, that all schools in South Africa make use of. All right, so both the NSC and the ASC uh, qualifications are awarded upon the successful completion of that curriculum. Now, eligibility is, a, is, is always a big question. So who's eligible to actually sit an ASC examination? And are there any requirements, Sipo, for our adult learners? Mm, I mean, as, as with all qualifications, there are certain requirements for admission. Yeah. So the amended senior certificate, chief amongst them is the requirement of age, right? Being 21 years of age at the time of writing your ASC examination in May or June, anyone younger will still fall within the NSC category for high school learners. Uh, but in, in addition to being 21 years uh, of age, adult learners require either a grade nine um, qualification or the all standard seven that I know you definitely did, Kino, yeah. um, stating that they passed that grade, right? They passed grade nine or they passed standard standard seven uh, or a general education and training certificate known as a GETC or a recognized equivalent qualification obtained at NQF level, um, which requires two official languages. Um, so, so uh, ASC is also for those applicants who have completed or an incomplete NSC or ASC qualification. They are also eligible to, to apply. So we've got, a, I think, a very good idea of that electric landscape that you've painted for us. But tell us a little bit more about, you know, the actual offering. What can you tell us about that, right? Can adult learners, you know, um, I mean, well, what exactly can they expect trying to find that word there for a second <laughs> from the UCT online high school adult metric program. Yeah, thanks, Kina. So our approach really includes six key focus areas that we feel differentiate our adult metric, making it the best offering around really. The, the first is curated academic content. Um, okay. Second is a structured path to success. Number three, rigorous exam preparation. Fourth, excellent support. Fifth, our learner forum. Um, and lastly, examination registration resources. Okay, so those highlighted, obviously, it sounds very interesting, but I think we should look at each and every one of these focus areas from a learner's perspective, and then also try and break down, um, you know, in a little bit more detail so that we can understand what's on offer. Right. So, I mean, you talk about curated academic content, for example. So most traditional schooling is talk and chalk, young fellow, Kino, stop speaking. <laughs> and that was in the heyday when we still, you know, and they're still chalk and talk, by the way. But now we're going into an online space. Let's talk about education in that online space, juxtaposed to what we all used to in the heyday. Mm, absolutely. So, Rather than the conventional expectation that a, a single teacher can provide all these facets of education, an online school requires the provision of learning facilitation, subject ex expertise and assessments that, that is best provided by a team of specialists working in unison. Um, so this team puts together cutting edge curated academic content in line with government syllabus requirements. That's the key difference, yeah. But also, you know, I think understanding is key. Um, you know, understand those basic principles are very, very key in order for you to move forward. How do you ensure that learners actually understand the content? I agree with, with that statement you're making. So in order to pass, every learner must grasp core competence, uh, competent, competencies, right? We can all agree. So it, each subject yeah. area has these core competencies um, and mm -hmm. the learner has to grasp them 
and move ahead in order to be prepared for that final assessment. So we provide a series of modules um, which have been designed by our team of subject specialists and learning facilitators. These modules systematically guide learners along a structured path of success. So every Monday, you know, a new model is, uh, module is released to master along with auto-graded assessments with, which indicate how well um, a learner is grasping the material. Okay, so if I get this right, I essentially get everything through the course content that you provide, right? So no textbooks or even live classes. Absolutely. So with the exception of language set works, um, like your readers and the prescribed book uh, for a particular language, everything is included, right? So um, we, we've ensured that our lessons are underpinned, you know, by the science of online learning where the use of technology promotes active engagement with each subject field in the curriculum, stimulating our learners essentially to evolve from just being passive recipients of, of curriculum content to becoming actively engaged um, and inquiring thinkers. So, so let me break it down for you, if, if you will, Kino. Mm. You know. Sure. So when a learner logs onto um, our online platform and opens up a subject module uh, for that week, they encounter six processes. Step one, a learner opens the module released every Monday. Um, like I've mentioned before, they watch a signpost video. That's the second step. Um, the third step is they work through a series of lessons that are around 45 minutes each. Um, and then uh, fourthly, they, they then conclude by watching a wrap up video. Then a learner can complete an auto graded mastery check. And the sixth and final step is they then can move on to the next module that comes at the start of the following week. Yeah, so let's break this down again. So a structured path to success, right, um, is, is, is something that, that you've mentioned and spoken about. Um, let's talk a little bit about the structured path to success. Our learners bound to a scheduled timetable, especially if you're talking adult learners, they might be doing other stuff as well, right? And as you know, being an adult comes fraught with a whole host of responsibilities, different stresses and, and time pressures. So how do we actually assist with that? Yeah, I agree. So our adult learners have a, a whole host of other challenges, as you, as you mentioned, um, you know, from exiting work commitments. Uh, some of them may have young children, um, so what we aim to do here is to provide a pathway to success. So we systematically release our content uh, at an optimum rate for learners to move at. So while we provide guidance and support advisors to help keep learners accountable, they must ultimately still complete these modules in their own time within each and every given week, right? Um, yeah. so, so we know that life happens, you know, and sometimes a learner will be behind, and other times they might be having a good week and they might be ahead. But in general, if they manage to stay on course with the path we've set out for them, they'll have the best chance of writing and passing that final, uh, their final exams. Um, in addition, we provide every learner with a suggested work plan for each subject. Um, and the required sequence of modules will be released on a weekly basis. Uh, so every, every module is designed into lessons that are approximately 45 minutes in length, um, as I've mentioned before, uh, and these are aligned with key learning outcomes, right? Um, so if I may just add, along with these weekly rhythms, we've also included very useful termly recap videos. Uh, yeah. This means that for each subject, at the end of each term, our learners will encounter a video uh, that summarizes the most important content from the previous term. This will be an invaluable tool really to remind learners what they've covered and emphasize the content that is needed uh, for them to be comfortable with tackling the, the, the content in the new term. You know, the one, one other thing we're going to unpack, of course, I mean, it's not the only one, but rigorous exam preparations, really key. Uh, if I've got this right, the adult metric is all about getting that amended senior certificate that, that you and I spoke of. Um, that's the following May, June. So what assistance do you provide learners when it comes to writing the final exams, especially you know, when it comes to crunch time? 
Yeah, we, we, we provide a number of things to help learners ensure that they, they ace that final exam or those final exams, right? The first is an exam readiness assessment. Um, so we provide one of these per subject with comprehensive graded feedback 11 months into the program. Uh, this is a yeah. great indicator of, of how ready a learner is to register for their final examination with the Department of, of Basic Education. Uh, the second thing we provide uh, an exam boot camp. Uh, this is where our learning facilitators and subject specialists give the latest thinking and insights around examination content for each subject and some of the best approaches and any hot tips that may be key in, in writing or approaching those final papers. Um, finally, we, we provide a whole host of past papers. We know that practicing with past papers um, is really one of the best ways to prepare for that final examination. So we provide these with model memos, um, which are a, a great litmus test as well for learners to see how ready they are to be successful for their final examinations. Now, you know, excellent support is something I know we pride ourselves on. And, and let's talk a little bit about UCT Online High School. And, you know, what exactly does that look like when it comes to an adult learner when we talk about excellent support? Great question. So the, the needs of an adult learner are completely different from those of a high school learner. I think we can agree. Yeah. Yet ultimately, what we all need, whether young or old, we all need motivation and accountability in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, so, so on that front, we have amazing support advisors uh, who are there to help with any administrative queries uh, that learners may have, as well as hold them accountable, right? That accountability remains crucial. The, when they fall behind, uh, they can do this by gently nudging them, you know, to get back on track. You know, hey, you haven't logged on for three days, what's happening? Um, you know, no. you need to get back on so that you make it in time for that for that next release that is coming up in a, in a couple of days. So, so secondly, we've got a, an incredible team of technical support officers who are on call to help adult learners as they familiarize themselves with our platform um, and the various ins and outs of, of working online. Um, all of this support is offered, you know, uh, Mondays through to Fridays, working hours 8 a.m. to to 5 p.m. So that's really the support structure that we that yeah. we provide. Now we 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 talk about the support. I want to talk about the learner forum though. So beyond the academic and the other support that we've outlined, right? What would you say is a key factor when it comes to a learner being successful in an online learning environment, in particular, especially for an adult? Mm -hmm. I think firstly important to highlight that going back to school as an adult is a really admirable commitment. Um, and it's one, it's one that involves a fair amount of hard work and sacrifice, but that doesn't mean that it can't be enjoyable, right? It doesn't mean that it, it won't be hugely rewarding. So we provide the content and the administrative support but I think one of the biggest tools for success in, is connecting with like-minded people who are on the same journey as you. Uh, whether it's having a study buddy, uh, sharing notes or creating a focus group or a study group, uh, the benefits of connecting through an online forum are huge in, in keeping learners motivated and engaged. Um, and this is why our learner forum is the fifth and key cog of our offering. Now, examination registration resources. Why is this so important? So registering with the Department of Basic Education is one of those administrative things that can be a bit painful, uh, but unfortunately are not are unavoidable and are, are super important to get right, which is why we provide a guidebook as well um, as all the necessary links and resources to ensure that learners cross their T's and dot their I's when it comes to uh, registering for that final examination. So it, it sounds like a small thing, but, but it's crucial to get absolutely right. Um, essentially, after having put so much hard work in preparing to write the examinations, you don't want to, to get it wrong yeah. in, that, in that final step. Um, so, so registration for the ASC examination opens between October and January for the May and June examination sessions each year. And it can only be done by the learner themselves. So no one can do it for the learner on their behalf. 
Uh, registration must be done online uh, on the DBE website or in person at the local provincial education department. So at UCT Online High School, we guide the learner, our adult learners, every step of the way where that process is concerned. Nasiba, we have come to the end of this information session, right, when it comes to the adult metric offering at UCT Online High School. Um, are there any important takeaways that you would like to leave us with before we start moving on to the questions? Uh, yes, absolutely. We are incredibly excited, Kino, about what 2023 uh, is is going to bring. Um, I want to take the opportunity, really, as we head toward the end, to remind everybody that's tuned in of the following important dates. School starts on Wednesday, the 11th of Jan, 2023, with our general orientation week. Um, so it's important to get your online application in by the 21st of December, 2022, to allow us time to process that application in time for the start of that academic year that I've, I've, I've just read out. Um, I also want to highlight that uh, those learners starting in January, the next available ASC examination session is in May, June of 2024, so of the following year, and registrations will take place between October 2023 and January 2024. Um, and finally, you know, at only 2,195 rand per month, you can get the newest curriculum offering at UCT Online High School and achieve success at any age. So this week, we made an exciting announcement that we will launch our financial scholarship program. The UCT Online High School Adult Metric Scholarship Program, Kino, is one of the most generous scholarship programs available to adult learners in South Africa. Um, and we are so excited to be offering this. So our scholarship program supports eligible adults um, learners by providing the opportunity to study towards an amended senior certificate at a fraction of the regular price. So UCT Online High School is offering more than 5 million rands worth of scholarships to the first 500 eligible adult learners. The primary objective keynote here uh, for UCT Online High School um, and the scholarship program is to make high quality education affordable and accessible to adult learners who deserve a second chance at completing their metric. So I'm sure everybody's wondering, how do I get myself one of these scholarships? Very, very easy. Interested applicants should just head over to our website um, and apply, as simple as that. Apply online to see how much of the scholarship that you, you can receive. Uh, this, is, this is really a game changer, uh, Kino. So, so our, our listeners, our viewers, once in a lifetime opportunity, head over to our website um, as soon as we're done with this uh, with this webinar um, and take advantage, take advantage. Absolutely. I mean, it's simply amazing, truly, truly amazing. So just to clarify, Sipo, so for those of you who may need a financial scholarship to get that second chance, and we really respect the fact that you want to do that whole second chance thing, it's important in life, you can please head over to the website right? And apply now. Only 500 scholarships up for grabs, as Sipo was saying. So let's see what questions have come through. Um, we can address that. And just remember, if it's important to either put your number down or for a way for us to contact you, we, we're really good at the school, but we don't know how to get hold of anonymous people. It's the one thing we struggle with, okay? But our admissions consultants will also get back to you if we don't get through all of these questions. So as I make my way in and, and race down to question number one, are any assessments involved in the application process? Uh, no, no. So no formal admissions assessments. The only thing really that is critical is to have the correct documentation. Um, and these are listed, of course, when you do apply. So uh, what's important is that the application process is completed um, online, um, and then there's the payment of the placement fee. That's the only thing that is applicable, but there is no admissions assessment, no. Okay, great. Can you do matric in three months is the next one? Um, no, no, you cannot. So standard high school metric takes 12 months to complete. So um, you might know this when you were in high school, Kino, uh, but you can't, you can't do metric in, in 12 months. Our program is 18 months. Um, so from the time uh, that you register with us, you complete it for 18 months 
in time for that final um, exam that takes that takes place. Um, can I go to university with an amended senior certificate? Good question. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very, very good question. Absolutely. In fact, most people um, uh, apply to do their amended senior certificate because they want to pursue studies in higher education. So uh, it is it is a recognized and accepted by by universities. Okay, this one from Anonymous. Anonymous, please give us your details as well. So, you know, if there's any follow-ups, we now get a hold of you. Um, is the ASC also open for adults who've completed their matric but not with particularly high marks? Are they able to rewrite? Fabulous question, by the way, Anonymous. Yeah, a- absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the, the, there was this famous term, I'm sure it's still relevant now, where when, when I was in high school, everybody went to upgrade their marks. All right, so this is this is another opportunity that if you want to upgrade your marks and you want to um, have better marks, perhaps you were not able to get into the course that you wanted to get into, um, you know, because your your maths was, you know, yeah, you fell short by a couple of, of marks or a couple of percentages. This is mm-hmm. another opportunity uh, for you to upgrade those marks and improve those results. Yes. And then uh, fifth question. This is from Simon. Ngenokesho, um, who says, can a non-South African applicant take Isitosa or Isizulu instead of Afrikaans? Uh, yes, the short answer is yes. Um, but currently, we only have Isitosa available for January 2023. Um, so you can take that instead of Afrikaans. Um, but we do not offer Isizulu at, at this time. And I think it's important to note that, you know, while we offer these, these do evolve over time, right? So the one thing you're never going to find at UCT Online High School is a one-size-fits-all, where we'll do, I mean, let's be honest, the education system has done the same thing for 150 years. We are starting to change that now, and I think some other people as well. Um, So these things will dynamically be updated as we move along. So that value will always be yours to to benefit from. Um, Another one from Simon. If one was to study from their home country and only sit for the exams, are they required to apply for the permit upfront or only prior to writing the exam, say the first exam? So, yeah, that's a, that's an important one. So in order to write these exams, learners have to have either a South African ID or a valid passport or a, a study permit, um, which I think the question is, is referring to here. So in the case of foreign nationals, you'd need that study permit. So exams are written in person um, in South Africa. So uh, uh, applicants will need to make sure that they've got the to- correct documentation prior to, to, to the exam. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And that brings us to the end. Just remember... Our admissions counselors will get hold of you if you've posted questions and we didn't get, um, you know, we didn't get to answer any of those. But just make sure that you are contactable, please. That's always important. So that, of course, has been our webinar, the Adult Matric, and I want to thank you all for joining us, and especially our head of school, Sipo, as always, great waxing lyrical with you about these things. Um, just remember, you can call. Um, our our uh, staff as well. We've got great ad- ad- admissions counsellors. Um, spread the word and also apply for that scholarship. And these are some of the key takeouts there. Have yourselves a wonderful afternoon.